good morning welcome to a new session in this session we are going to discuss pseudo classes and pseudo elements in css and they will enhance the capabilities of selectors okay assume that you have an unordered list with five list items the content are just numbers 1 2 3 4 5 okay look here i want to highlight the item on which currently i am hovering before doing that let us check how the list look like on a web page the name of the file is temp123 must be here okay so this is how the list look like okay i want to highlight a list item on which currently i am i am hovering okay so to know that to feel that currently i am on that list item that can be done using a pseudo class called hover pseudo classes are applied by a symbol colon and pseudo elements this is pseudo class symbol what is that colon for pseudo element the symbol is colon colon okay like a c++ operator now hover is a pseudo class when i hover over a list item i want it to have a background color say green the font size should be more than what it is okay let us check so when i hover an item its background is change its font size is change is this clear this is called hovering i hope you understand it right next i'll put this out and show you one more pseudo class called first child how many children are there 1 2 3 4 5 i want to select the first one first one will can be selected by using by using first child pseudo class so background color is aqua okay font type is say tahoma from serif family okay
let us see the effect going to browser is this clear you can see a different font before applying it see the font type now let us apply it okay applying to first child is this clear font type is changed and some background color is added now let us do this for last child last child is one more pseudo class okay whatever you did for first child is done for the last child okay now let us do it for nth child and description of nth child is even so this will make all even children given background color aqua and font type tahoma this is nth child okay i should remove this last and i think nth child is single word i may be wrong no it is not a single word it is two different words okay so all even children are selected by this pseudo selector you can select even odd ones also by using odd selector is this clear okay so what did we what did we discuss so far pseudo classes over first child last child nth child with description as even or odd okay now one more is there there are many but these are the most commonly used one more is there by name by name focus to demonstrate this i choose one input html tag of type text okay let the place holder is enter your name here right now see how the focus works tag name is input focus is the pseudo class take the background color
So whenever you click, where is my input box? I'm sorry, I kept this in style tag. It should be either in head or body, not in style tag, okay? This is clear. This is placeholder and this is text field. When I click inside it, It should be focused by the color red. Let us check the code. I did not give background color. The background color is red. Is this clear? When I enter you and click, it will become red. This is what focus is. So these are a different pseudo classes we often use, right? Next. And next is pseudo elements. Say first line, first letter before and after. These are some pseudo classes we often use. I'll do, demonstrate them with the help of one very, very simple and common example. Let us have a paragraph okay i choose a paragraph online so let this paragraph be chosen Okay. And I place it here. Let us save and see what we have done by including that paragraph. So this is that paragraph, right? Is this clear? Now. I want to highlight the first line of paragraph. I can use a pseudo class by name first line, right? You can highlight it by any background color you want. So using pink, okay? Is this clear? I can change even the font as well. Let the font weight is bold. Now all the characters in first line will be in bold. Clear? Want to change font type also? You need font family attribute. I take times new Roman. If font name contains more than one word, then it must be kept in double quotes. 
Is this clear? Let us see how it is and how it is going to be. I think it is already in Times New Roman. Let us check a different one. Let us check Arial. I think one family cannot be applied to it. Font color can be applied. Clear? Now, let us do it for first letter also to emphasize to give some weight to paragraph. This is first letter. Okay. And the font color is red. Let us remove this background color, which is already given because first letter is part of first line. Let us give font size as well. Let us change the font size of first letter or first character. But the font size is 40 pixels. Okay. Is this clear? First letter, font size increased, color is converted to, is to red and weight is bold. So it is already given, you need not give it again. Is this clear? Next, let us add something before and after the paragraph. Let us add some content. Say, I want to add an asterisk before the content. It's generally used to show that conditions apply. Okay. Now let us add something after as well, like before. Okay. So let us add the same after the paragraph as well. Is this clear? Did you understand it? Hope you, you are. So these are different pseudo elements after, before, first element, first line. And that's it. These pseudo classes and pseudo elements increase the capabilities of selectors. Okay, you can extend your selection. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and keep watching. Thank you.